gute Morgen, willkommen auf meinem Kanal. Ich bin dann der Prof von Luxemburgisch USA. Und hier ist die Lektion. Und hier ist ihr Lesson. In this lesson, you will learn how to describe a person you see on a picture. So his physical appearance, um, the impression you may have from that person, and as well the clothes the person is wearing. So the focus will be on the description of a person, um, for example, you saw uh, in a newspaper or on the social networks, or you just met at a social gathering, okay? Great. Now this lesson is as well very useful for all those of you who intend to take in the upcoming future the Spruchen test, which is the Luxembourgish language test to acquire the Luxembourgish citizenship. Why will this lesson be useful? Well, because you will learn a lot of vocabulary how to describe a person on a picture, because in the Spruchen test you will have to describe a picture with a person on it. Great. Boss to prep, are you ready? Done, los! Let's start with the physical appearance of a person and more precisely with the hair. How do you say hair in Luxembourgish? Well, this is hoa. Now listen and repeat after me for the correct pronunciation. Hoa. Good. And when you describe the hair of a person on a picture, hua will always be used in the plural. So you will have to say tua zin blond. Okay? Now, let's have a look at the vocabulary uh, to describe the hair. I will not go into details about the colors because I have um, told talked about the colors in the previous lesson. You can watch this lesson on YouTube, on my channel, or read the transcript on my blog. So, hair can be lang, lang, kurz, kurz, gekrauselt, gekrauselt, glas, Glad, gefieft, gefieft, or mittellang, mittellang. A man can have a schnauz, schnauz, or a bart, a bart, or ein Glotz. So if a man is bald, you will say hin huet eng glotz. So for us it is a, a noun. Hin huet eng glotz. Eng frau huet a pairs schwanz. A pairs schwanz. Or a wutz. Now a wutz is a synonym of a pairs schwanz. Or a tuppi. A tuppi. Or a chignon. A chignon. So chignon and tupi are as well synonyms. Now a person can be tall, uh, gross, sorry, gross, klang, klang, dun, dun, schlang. Schlank, korpulent, korpulent, flott, flott, or shame, shame, and of course a person can be jung, so pronounce it jung, or al, al. Now, if you want to be polite when you describe a picture to another person, uh, we won't say that a uh, tfra or the man as al. We would say a shkizin an eleren hair. So use the, the word ela for elderly people. Huh? So elderly people is ela light. An elderly man is an eleren hair or an eleren man. 
an ein Ehler Fra. Ein Ehler Fra. Great. And of course, when you see a person on the picture or when you meet a person, you have a first impression uh, about that person. So you can say, um, uh, Fra as um, freundlich. Freundlich. Sympathisch. Sympathisch, unsympathisch, unsympathisch, ähm, seriös, seriös, nervös, nervös, schei. Yes, you pronounce it like in English. Schei. Or froh. Froh. Let's move on with the description of the clothes. So to describe which clothes a person is wearing, you can use either the verb unhun, unhun, which is a verb with a separable prefix, or the verb drohen, drohen. Both mean to wear. Great. Now let's have a look at the picture and we'll go through the clothes. Let's describe the, this man and let's start with the hair, which was in Luxembourgish, do you remember? Hoa. So you can say, hin hört kurz schwarz hoa. And then now his physical appearance, hin aus dünn, hin aus sportlich, hin aus mittelgroß. And then for um, the impression you can have from this man, you can say, hin gesagt seriö aus. So here I use the verb ausgesehen, which means to look like. It is a verb with a separable prefix. Hin gesagt seriö aus or hin gesagt sympathisch aus. An hin hört a bart. Hin hört a bart. Let's move on with the clothes. Remember to use the verb unhun or drohen. I will use the verb unhun. Hin hört ein blue jeans buxbun, a weißen t-shirt. Wait a minute. I just said a weißen t-shirt. In the previous lesson, you have learned that the word for white is weiß. Why did I say weißen t-shirt? Well, that's where grammar comes in. T-shirt is a noun. It is a masculine noun. And when you put an adjective, such as a color, before a noun, you have to add an ending to your adjective if this adjective is masculine or neuter. Now, you can read a full lesson on my blog with all the details and lots of examples about this adjective endings. Now, let's move on. Hin hört a kareyacht hirn. Un. Hin hört a kareyacht hirn un. And now let's talk about the accessories. So for the accessories, you can either use the verb un hun as well, but if someone uh, is wearing glasses or something on his head, you can use the verb up hun. For example, here for his glasses, I would say, hin hört a brüll op. Hin hört a brüll op. Am hin hört ein Auer un. Hin hört ein Auer un. Let's recap. Hin hört kurz schwarz hoa. Hin hört a brüll. Hin aus dünn. Hin aus sportlich. Hin aus mittelgroß. Hier gesagt seriö aus. Am hier gesagt auch sympathisch aus. Hin hört ein Blue Jeans Box, a weißen T-Shirt, an a kareyacht hirn un. Hin hört a brüll op, an hin hört ein aua un. And I forgot the age, uh, hin as relativ jung, or you can say hin gesagt jung aus. Great. Let's briefly come back to the accessories a person can wear. Now we have seen the man hört a brüll op, an hin hört ein aua un. Now a woman can have, for example, a ring, ein kat 
Katten. Zum Beispiel, die Frau hat Ohrring an den Katten und oh, ähm, sie hat ein Posch aus Lieder. So ein Posch. Oh, a man can have a hat. Uh, jen hat ein Hut ob. Oh, jen hat ein Cap ob. Great. Now, in my um, online course, I see at the Sprachentest, I have created a whole module uh, to describe a picture because you will have to describe a picture in the oral part of the Sprachentest. So, and there you will learn a technique how to describe uh, a picture, so the structure and as well how to describe with details a person. Now, I have put a link under this video uh, so that you can have a look at this online course. And now it's time for your Übung exercise. So your first exercise is to tell me in the comments below what you are wearing today. I am very curious. Es sind immens vier Wölzer. And I have here two sentences for you to translate into Luxembourgish, of course. And you put them, you can put uh, your translation in the comments below if you want my feedback. And on my blog, you can practice what you have learned today with uh, much more sentences to translate. And you can even download the transcript of this lesson. So, are you ready for the first sentence? Satz Nummer in. My wife often wears a white T-shirt. Satz Nummer zwei. I don't like wearing colorful clothes. Great. Thank you for watching. Merci für Nachgucken. Und bis nächstes Jahr. See you the next time. Adi.